Alcapoco Burger Night. It's like living a vacation. Check it out. It's delicious. Hello, cilantro. Look at my teeth. Anyway, um, home chef. Learn to cook. Winging it. Sometimes you gotta hack a recipe. Well, hello everybody, and I'm sorry about the last video. It was a full moon and a holiday, and and I lost my shit, but I'm back. So today is July 5th, and we are going to be cooking up some burgers. What are we making today, kids? We are making the Acapulco beef burger with fresh Pico de Gallo and cilantro lime fries. Does that not look delicious? It says prep time 45 to 55 minutes. And I don't know what time it is, but I'm, it's, I'm hungry time. So let's get cooking. All right. Let's see here. And thank you so much for all the people who called and talked to me on the phone and, um, it was wonderful. I talked to Lynn and I talked to Linda and I talked to a whole bunch of people on Messenger and you guys are awesome. You pulled me right out of it. You just grabbed me by the hair and yanked me right out. Okay. All right, let's see here. I've got the oven preheating. Prepare the baking sheet with foil and cooking spray. Okay. And okay, start the fries. Cut the potato into quarter inch sticks. Yeah, right. Place the potato sticks on a prepared baking sheet and toss with two and a half teaspoons of olive oil, quarter teaspoon of salt, and a pinch of pepper. That's enough, I can't remember beyond there. So, let's, let's see if we can do this. I have had some people admit that they're yelling at the TV, telling me how to do things. Enjoy yourselves. <laughs> I'm just going to do it my way. Just kidding. I try tips. Like, I, I put a washcloth under my cutting board today. Right. And I spray over the sink, like I keep saying, because I don't want to make a mess. One thing I did not do was read the like card before I shoved everything in the fridge because it did say to keep your potato out of the fridge and I didn't so hopefully hopefully it still cooks the same but yeah whatever all right so cutting my potato into quarter inch sticks good luck with that let's see here yeah, that didn't work out. I just turned off my camera. And there we go.
I hope I'm, I hope I'm doing this right. It's just a guessing game. Have I mentioned I don't typically? See, I added the word typically. I don't typically cook. I got my curtain tongue. I got, uh, let's see here. Finally got my license plate for my car. Yay. And, um, let's see. What else have I done? Been doing a diamond painting quite a bit lately. Trying to chillax. And, uh, let's see here, I pulled out my cross-stitch projects that I haven't started. There was one that was a beach theme that I might considerably try to start, but I'm worried about the cat. And also, um... I really should finish that peacock before I start another one. I'm not one to have a whole bunch of whips going at the same time. It's kind of making me a little a little frazzled having so many things unfinished. All right, let's see. Place the potato sticks on the baking sheet and toss it with a two and a half teaspoons of olive oil. Why would you do that? Why wouldn't you toss it in a bowl and then put it on the baking sheet? That's just what I'm saying. Why don't I do it that way? I don't get it. not to show I put the camera lower this time so that hopefully you don't keep peeking down my shirt dirty birds one two there are three uh, quarter teaspoon of salt okay pepper. It just makes a lot more sense to me to do it in a bowl than on a baking sheet. I don't, I don't know. Okay, and then let's see here. Spread it into a single layer and bake in a hot oven until lightly brown 20 minutes. Okay.
add french fries. And let's see here. Carefully toss some fries halfway through. So setting my timer for 10. All right, now, let's see here. Remove from oven. Fries will finish cooking in a later step. Okay. Prepare the ingredients. Core the tomato and cut it into half inch dice. I've never cored a tomato. It's cored an apple. I don't understand. Hmm. Can I just dice it and forget the instructions about coring it? Rag on me. <gasps> I was sliding all over. Let's see here, peel and half a shallot. The hell is a shallot? I guess this. I don't know what a shallot is. It's like a little onion. Is that what it is? I'm guessing so. It's the only thing here with a peel other than a lime. Ground beef, salt, pepper. They call it a lime. <laughs> okay. I guess. All right. Well, let me see here. I've heard of shallots. I think it's the first time I've seen one in real life. That I was aware of. Okay. And then let's see here. Have peel and half the shallot, cut it into dice. Okay. So, whatever. Which way do they want me to have it? I guess this way. Don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Okay. Right, now, let's 
see here. Zest the lime. I don't have a zester. Half it and juice it. Oh, goodness. Well, all I have is my thing for scrubbing the calluses off my feet. We're not going to use that. I can't zest a lime. I don't have anything for that. Huh. Doesn't say you need a zester right here. Hmm. How am I going to zest it, guys? I don't know. Let's see here. Hmm. Come up with some way of zooming this here. Let's see. Uh, have it and juice it. All right. Well, let's see. I have no idea. I guess I can scrape it with my trusty knife. It smells good. Let's see here. Um, what are you going to use the zest part for? Let me see here. Shallot, one teaspoon of cilantro, teaspoon of extra fries, a cooked tuna, garnish fries with the lime zest to taste. Mm. Well, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Let's see. Let me see here. Yeah, this one's got a more pronounced serrated edge. Let's see. No, that didn't work. There we go. here. Let's see. Maybe we'll skip the zesties. Not really working. Kind of. Not really. That's a, that's an epic fail. Okay. Now I'm supposed to half it and juice it. <laughs> All right. I love limes. There's one. And let's see here. Mm 
Mince the cilantro. No need to stem it. Okay. Alright, let's see. Time to flip the fries. Let's see, do I have an extra pair of tongs? New. No. Gotta wash them real quick. Bullshit theory. Okay. And let's go back around here. I think we need another cutting board. the cilantro. Okay. That one's yucky. Oh, it smells good. Okay. Let's see here. I'm going to make this knife again. So good. Okay, and let's see here. Form the ground beef into two patties, five inch diameter. Season both sides with salt and pinch of pepper. Okay. Oh, there's two potatoes. Oops. <laughs> well, I guess we'll save this one for a baked potato night. Okay. Oopsies. Got twice the salt on that one than I should have then. Oh, well. Five inch patty. Oh, get out my tape measure. Here. 
After this, okay, salt and pepper. Little cilantro stuck in there. That'll be okay. Like measure the salt in the recipe. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna put a little salt on it. There we go. A little pepper. is make the pico de gallo and finish the fries in a mixing bowl. Combine the tomato, the shallot to taste, one teaspoon of lime juice. Okay, so it's getting all complicated now. All right, let's see here. this bowl. All right, combine the tomato, the shallot, okay. tomato, shallot, taste, I have no idea. I guess we'll do half. Um, let's see here. One teaspoon of lime juice. Okay. Half the cilantro. Touching my raw meat. Hell. It's okay. I used to eat cannibal burgers as a kid. Alright, and let's see here. Reserve the remaining for the fries. Okay, so the part that's going to get cooked is for the fries. I know, she's contaminating. Okay, it's okay. Got a high tolerance. All right. Um, let's see here. Quarter teaspoon of salt and a pinch of pepper. Okay. Mm. Pinch. Salt. Okay. <laughs> those shallots to break apart. I don't want to take a bite out of one of those big old monsters. All right. Okay, here we go. I feel like I want to put more lime juice in it. I love lime juice. Okay, let's see here. After the fries have cooked for 20 minutes, remove them from the oven. Did I set the timer again? No. All right. Let's see. It's probably close, huh? 
don't know. Let's see. How long have you been on? Um, it's got to be close. After the fries are cooked for 20 minutes, remove them from the oven and carefully toss them again. Bake them again until golden brown. Another 18 to 20 minutes. Tossing them again? What the hell? Remove them from the oven and carefully toss them again. Bake them again until garnish the baked fries with the lime zest to taste and the remaining cilantro to taste. Well, shit. All right, I don't understand this at all. Why do I want to pull them out of the oven and toss them? This seems weird. Why do those need to be tossed? Why can't I just flip them over? Tossing my fries. All right, there we go. Whatever. Weird. Okay. All right, and let's see here. Heat a large nonstick pan over medium heat and add the buns cut side down to the hot dry pan and cook until they're lightly toasted two to three minutes. Okay. I guess I don't need that again. I'm only cutting one because I'm only eating one. Add the patties to the hot pan, cook until lightly charred, and beef reaches a minimum internal temperature of 160. Remove them from the burner. Top the burgers with cheese. Cover the pan until the cheese is melted. And then plate the dish. Well, my fries have a lot longer to go than this is gonna take. So this is two to three minutes for the bun. Four to six minutes, oh, per side. So 12, 15, and 20. Melt the cheese, 23. Okay, I guess we're okay. All right. It'll work. I think I want the lime zest. It didn't work out so well. I think I, I, think I can 
dump the lime zest. And let's see here. <laughs> I can also get rid of the shallots that are left over. Let's see here. Keep an eye on those buns. Got a package today from Hill. We're not opening it on this video, but it's arrived, just so you know. Okay. And let's see, I don't need this anymore. Hope everybody had an enjoyable 4th of July. I don't know if any, any fireworks were going off or not. There was a few here. Scared the living daylights out of the dog. She is traumatized, but uh, at one point, I could not find Jasmine anywhere. Now, it's not a big apartment, so where did the dog go? Well, where she went was in the bathtub. <laughs> she jumped into the shower. I have a tub, um, you know, shower over tub here. She jumped into the shower and was hiding in there with the curtain closed. So that was entertaining. But uh, she did seem more relaxed than when she, before we tried the hemp. Because then she was, she would just like climb your neck. And she was secure enough apparently to go off on her own and go hide in the shower. So what's everybody having for dinner? Acapulco burger.
Well, heck. While we're waiting for that, I'll go show you my curtains. Hang on a second. Look, I've got them, got them hung up. And because of Lily, I just tied giant knots <laughs> on the end to keep her from attacking my curtains. And then there's the package that arrived today. So that's exciting. Um, I think that's pretty much it. As far as, you know, loving the fishing poles. Played with her for quite a while today with that. And I think that's what kept her from bothering me while I was uh, cooking right now. Wore her out. Shallots in my cart. And let's tip you back down. It like watching paint dry. Somebody's getting excited here. Do you smell cooking meat? It's been so hot here. Oh my gosh. I've heard from several of you that it's been hot where you are too. Unbearable. Absolutely unbearable. where I went wrong. I was supposed to put everything in its own little container. <laughs> Oops. I still have eight more minutes for my uh, fries here. Delicious. Calories per serving, 951. That's not bad. See how they show customized options? You can do ground pork or turkey instead. They tell you what you need. Doesn't say is a zester. But here's your ingredients if you want to make this at home. Screenshot that. Screenshot. Screenshot. See here. Screenshot. 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 Okay. Or you could just order it yourself. And again, the links to Home Chef through Rachel Ray are in the video description below. I am so impressed. I think it's wonderful. I checked out the prices. Not bad. 
not bad prices. Um, so yeah, I would definitely check it out. And especially with me cooking for one, every meal is two meals. Because, you know, tonight and tomorrow night. So, yeah, it's kind of awesome. All right, I think we're getting about done on the burger. I like mine on the rare side. But I got six minutes on the fries. Oh, I have to put the cheese on for three minutes and cover it. Okay, let me get the cover. Let's see. Does this one fit? Yes. Okay. I think for the burger I'm going to eat tomorrow, though, I will put the cheese on it tomorrow. I'm not going to do it today. See her. Here tonight's agenda is um, probably gonna watch another episode of Siren and Diamond Paint. Um, and then just try and go to bed early to prepare for court tomorrow. Which Fingers crossed, prayers appreciated, good vibes appreciated, well wishes appreciated. Any, you know, things in my favor appreciated for court tomorrow, that it goes well. Um, I'm hoping jail time. <laughs> Not for me. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, that could, you know, I wouldn't have to work, but a few more days off. But I wouldn't have anybody to feed the dog and cat and walk Jazzy, so, you know, whatever. I've never been to jail, never been arrested. I have zero criminal record. The only thing I even have, I think, on my driving history was failure to provide insurance, and that was because somebody didn't give me the card when they renewed the policy. But, yeah. Oh, is that, is that, I think Allison Rosen is texting me. To hurry this production up. All right, that looks melty. We're gonna pull those uh, potatoes out two minutes and forty-five seconds early. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Make sure I do this right. Turn off the oven. Okay, um, plate the dish is pictured on the card. Spread the chipotle aioli to taste on the bottom bun and top it with the burger patty and the pico de gallo. Okay. 
And to taste for me would be the entire packet. Because <laughs> it's delicious. I'll just spread that out a little bit. Fries are good. Okay. And the burger. Grease and all. There we go. Take that off the heat. Let's see here. Supposed to put the main cilantro on the fries. Let's see here. Yep, that looks about right. <laughs> All right, and then. Oh, I'm so hungry. There we go. Alrighty. And Goes up a little more. I might have chopped those a little finer for my own personal preference than what they asked for, but it'll be okay. okay let's get those back up on top of there. Stay. And then I'm supposed to have the bun kind of like, like it's talking to you. Okay, this is bullshit. Okay. There. Stay. Stay. Come on. Oi. It's not going to look like the picture, guys. Okay, memorize this. As soon as I pick up that plate, it's going to tip over. My fries look a little less healthy than theirs. But it looks delicious. Okay, let me go... Get set up at the table and we'll try it out. It smells really good. It smells really, really good. My burger ended up a little hot, you know, a little more poofy than I intended. I didn't flatten it out enough, but let's try out these fries. Mmm. They're good. 
I've never made homemade french fries. Not bad. Mm hmm Crunchy. All right, let's try this Acapulco burger. Mm. Cooked medium. Very good. Mm. I need a napkin. What was I thinking? All right. One thing I would do differently I probably would have pulled the burger off, squeezed off some of the grease, wiped out my pan to get rid of the pool of grease, and then put the cheese on it. But I've had this in restaurants a lot too, where you bite into the burger and just grease comes pouring out of it. But it's very good. Mm-hmm. Ten years I've had burgers with only Lowry's. No cheese. You put the cheese on once it's cold. I always put the cheese on while it's still on the grill. Mmm. I would do this again. It's very good. Mm-hmm, for sure. Okay. You can see I'm starving. And the hungrier I am, the less table manners I have. So, so that I don't need to worry about what all you're seeing going on in here. I'm gonna say goodbye. And see you soon. I got a package to open. Love you guys. Bye. Yeah, she, she didn't go to a cookout for 4th of July, so burgers tonight. Little pre celebratory dinner before court tomorrow. All right, anyway, we'll catch up with you guys soon and uh, enjoy the rest of your evening or morning or night or wherever the heck you are. Because you're all over the place. Just like just like we are all over the place. Okay, bye guys. Love you. Excuse me.